Isabel, one of the bioinformaticians here at Glasgow Polyomics. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform a metabolite extraction on a tissue sample. First, we need to decide how much material we need for one sample. Generally, we've found that 5 mg of tissue is enough for most applications. In this example, I will compare two types of mosquitoes, A and B. But before we start extracting the samples, we need to prepare our equipment. Cool the centrifuge to 4 degrees C. Prepare the solvent, usually chloroform methanol water, in the ratio 1 to 3 to 1, and place in an ice bath. If required, cool your pestle and mortar or tissue homogenizer. Now we are ready to start. Step 1. Weigh your empty tubes and then your tubes with samples in to determine the weight of each sample. Here, I have 18 mg in sample A and 20 mg in sample B. Step 2. Add cold extraction solvent in a ratio of 200 microliters to 5 mg of sample. That's 720 microliters in sample A and 800 microliters in sample B. Step 3. Prepare a blank sample of 200 microliters extraction solvent and process it alongside your other samples. Step 4. Homogenize your samples using a cold pestle and mortar, tissue homogenizer or washed glass beads. What method you use will depend on your sample type. Please contact us if you're not sure what is best for your sample type. For flies, we will use glass beads washed thoroughly in extraction solvent. Step 5. For most tissue types, leave the suspension on a shaker for one hour at 4 degrees C. Step 6. After cell lysis, remove protein and other debris by centrifuging at 13,000 times G for three minutes and transfer the supernatant to a screw cap tube. Step 7. Prepare a pooled sample with an aliquot of each of your samples to provide a final pooled sample volume of at least 500 microliters. Step 8. Store at minus 80 degrees C. There are many variations on this basic protocol that you may wish to make, but please always ensure that your tissue sample to extraction solvent ratio is the same, as this is the only reliable way to normalise total metabolome content between samples. And remember, if you have any questions, just get in touch and we will be happy to discuss protocols with you.